Hey everybody, Rob Gary here with Real Talk with Rob Gary. Man, am I excited for the show that we're going to have tonight. We got great reviews from last week's show. Um, people were so excited, but this week we have some phenomenal guests as well. So how's everybody doing today? Hope you guys are having a great day. Um, hope you had a phenomenal Mother's Day for all the mothers out there. You know, my wife and I, we celebrated Mother's Day today with my mom. We didn't do the Sunday thing because Sunday gets a little crowded. I'm sure you all could agree, but I'm sure you had a great time. But hey, um, before we get started, I had a topic I wanted to talk about today, and it's a topic to help encourage some folks out there um, when, in fact, you find yourself being hated on. And, and I don't even know where the expression hating came from, but I'm going to tell you something, guys. This is something that I've learned, and this is just, this is just my opinion, okay? I know some folks say you need haters to motivate you, and that's true. If that's what you need to motivate you, then great. But, but where did the haters come from? Where did jealousy come from? You know, where did, where did the term bragging come from? You know, I was talking to a friend recently, and, you know, little kids, they're little small kids. You know, they're excited about things. They get some new sneakers or, or they get a new toy. Um, you know, they talk about it. They're excited. But it's always that little kid. And it starts at a young age. And I think it happens because they are watching some folks who aren't that personally developed or people who lack a little bit. But it starts at a young age, and, you know, it spills into elementary school, then high school, and so on and so forth. You always got that little unhappy smurf, okay? They're sitting in a corner while someone else is excited about what's going on in their life, and they're like, hmm, they're bragging. Like, where did bragging come from? Like, who made that up? It doesn't exist. You know, haters made that up. If you're excited about what you're doing, if you're excited about your goals, do you know that you can be an inspiration to someone else? And you can talk about it till the wheels falls off. Who cares. Don't let people, you know, who, who don't have the most self-confidence, who, 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 who's been around a lot of gossipy, jealousy people, you know, lower your standards. Be happy about what you're doing. Scream it from the mountaintops. If they don't like it, they can plug their ears. But I'm telling you right now, I've said this before and I'll say it again, and this is not to make light, okay, of mental illness, but I believe people who are jealous of other people are slightly, mental, slightly mentally ill, okay? That's just me. And why am I saying that? Because how could you in your brain not want success for your fellow brother and sister? I don't know. You know, that doesn't compute with me. For those who know me, and, and you've probably heard me say this before, I believe in collaboration. I don't compete unless it's sports, okay, and spades. Now, we play some spades, I'm going to jack you up. One of my guests tonight he just gets lucky when he plays space, boy. Uh, maybe he'll bring that up. But if you're playing space, we're going to get you. If we're playing sports, we're going to get you. You know, those are fun things. Sometimes they don't really have meaning. There's no rhyme or reason, you know, behind them. But when it comes to business, when it comes to relationships, when it comes to friendships, you know, collaboration is much better. Com you know, communicating is much better. Completing one another is much better. But competition is crazy. And some folks even say in businesses or a little friendly competition is good. I don't know about that. You know, friendly competition can turn into jealousy. You know, it can turn into envy. You know, and then it can turn into hate. And so the message today, before we get started for our show, if you're out there and you're excited about life, okay, watch out for those little jealous smurfs out there, okay, because there's a lot of them, and some of them, they just are personally developed. For those who follow me on Facebook, you might see that yesterday I put a little, you know, little quote out there, and one of my good friends said, hey, man, you slipped out of personal development. I said, yeah, for a quick second, but I jumped right back in because <laughs> some, some little nasty smurf. You know, and they're, they're out there. They had said something, a message group that we're all a part of. And what was interesting, nobody commented, you know, on their thing. And, and I would hope that that's something that they could learn from, you know. But I'm telling you right now, watch out for the haters. Watch out for the jealous folks, guys. They're, they're just there to, to, to make life interesting. And so with that, we're going to go ahead to commercial. And when I come back, I'll be introducing you to, introducing you to my incredible guest tonight. We're going to have a phenomenal show. So we'll go to commercial, and we'll be right back with Real Talk with Rob Gary. Last Mother's Day, I didn't get a call from Serena till 9 p.m. 9 p.m. Just because she's the goat doesn't mean she can't take the time for her mother. That's true. Right. That boy Snoop Dogg. Mm. He's so busy. He can't even call his mama. If Dwayne doesn't call me soon, I'm gonna lay the smack down on him. <laughs> <laughs> OBJ still has an M O M. Absolutely. How can you forget your mama? <laughs> <laughs> hey, Portal, answer. Happy Mother's Day! It's so good to see you. Oh, hi, Mom, sir. 
Are you just hanging out with the moms of other famous people? What's up, Neil? Hi, Venus and Serena's mom, Jonah Hill's mom, Snoop Dogg's mom, Odell's mom. This is weird. Can you give Papa and Mama a minute, please? We love you, Mama. I love you. Am I in trouble? Because it kind of feels like I'm in trouble. Oh, honey, there's nothing wrong. Although he does look thin. Does look thin. Thank you. Come on over here and let us look at you. Honey, have you been getting enough sleep? You look so pale. Something is off. Okay, ladies, I'm fine. We just called to say Happy Mother's Day. I think it's the hair. It's definitely the hair. What, what did you... What's with my hair? Fed up with the rising costs of cable and satellite? Cut the cord and start watching the channels you want at a fraction of the cost. With IXQ TV, stream thousands of entertainment, sports, news, and movie networks, plus local channels on your TV or mobile device. For as low as $39 a month, enjoy all the benefits of cable and satellite with no credit checks, contracts, or installation fees. Say goodbye to high cable bills forever. Visit StreamingSaves.com today. First impressions can be the difference between gaining loyal customers or losing them forever to your competition. At PrintFrenzy.com, we provide endless possibilities to make great first and lasting impressions. From business cards and banners to design services and website development, Print Frenzy has the high-quality products you need at the lowest prices you'll find. Re-energize your business with a fresh, professional look. Or print your current designs with us and save. Visit PrintFrenzy.com today. All right, ladies and gentlemen, we're back with Real Talk with Rob Blue Gary. And am I excited to introduce my guests for tonight? Um, so I'm going to go ahead and bring them on. They're chatting behind the green room, as they say. Oh, well, in the green room. But you're going to hear from some phenomenal folks real quick. So let me go ahead and unmute them. All right, you guys are unmuted. And you guys are on front stage. And so, ladies and gentlemen, you see some incredible, some, some incredible sharp-looking folks right now online. But I'm going to introduce you to my friends tonight. And we're going to have an incredible show. You know, each week we ask our guest speakers to bring up a topic and we have a roundtable discussion about it. And man, they have some topics that are going to knock your shoes off. And so they're going to bring some value to you tonight. We're going to have some fun. We're going to laugh. Hey, you might even cry. But uh, let me go ahead and start by introducing ladies first. Um, the first person I'd like to introduce is just a phenomenal, phenomenal person. Um, you know, it seems like we've known each other for years, okay? But we've known each other for about three years now. And I knew of her in another business, her and her incredible husband. But... Uh, She's just like, she's a sister. She's fun. Um, I like to call her bubbly because I've never, maybe, I don't know if I've ever seen a frown on her face, you know, unless it was sadness, um, you know, maybe of a passing of someone. But other than that, man, she's just incredible. Um, she's a phenomenal leader in her own right, does a lot, gives back a lot, a CEO of a company. You guys will hear about that tonight. But, but she's just, a, she's someone who I like to call a friend. And that's a, none other than, we like to call her Lisa G. And that's a dog in the background. It's all good. We like to call her Lisa G, but Lisa GMO. But hey, Lisa, how you doing? I'm great. How are you? I'm great. And uh, I'm so excited to be on the show and uh, alongside of Suleiman, an old friend. Uh, good to see you and Mario, a new friend. Um, really excited to be here. And thanks for thanks for having me. No, so, um, yeah, I guess, you know, uh, what I kind of wanted to really share tonight is you know, I started to think about what would be something that is exciting for us this month. And we're going to be hitting, Jeff and I, our 33 years of marriage. 
Wow. So I know, and we were just talking earlier, earlier, Suleiman and I, he's got three little ones. My girls are going to be uh, 20, 29, and 26. So crazy, crazy, crazy. And, uh, you know, not only have I been married to my husband, my partner, my soulmate, but we've been in business together the whole time. Um, wow. We actually met back in the 80s in Chicago running health clubs and um, from there got married. And then my husband became the vice president of a health club chain. We moved to Denver and our life has always been surrounded by health. And when I got involved in our first I'll just, you know, our first network marketing company, it was because of the wellness products. It was because of the results that I got. And here we are now in the industry, 26 years later, still passionate about wellness. And, you know, I think one of the topics I wanted to kind of touch on is just how, how wellness and technology and life has changed over the last 30 plus years. Now you got, you got to have to hold on to the topic because I don't want to let the cat out the bag yet. So we're going to come actually to you first for your topic, but I'm going to go ahead and okay. introduce Mario and introduce Suleiman, but we're going to jump on your topic first because I think all the topics are great, but I love health and wellness. And so before Perfect. we jump into that topic, another gentleman who I'd like to introduce tonight, you know, you know, when I first had a chance to be picked to do a talk show by some some producers, some friends, some investors, you know, I, it wasn't an easy thing. And, and I mean, it's not an easy thing. And, you know, I went looking for some folks and, and believe it or not, um, I paid some people. I paid some companies and things of that nature. Um, but I, I, I was interesting. I was posting in a group. You know, a Facebook group, and I'd asked a couple of people out there, hey, can anybody help me with something real small? And, you know, this gentleman reached out to me, and he was like, wow, I'm shocked nobody reached out to you yet to answer your question. You know, it's a simple question. And I, you know, I believe everybody's happy and nice, and he does too, but, you know, he just didn't believe that anybody didn't get back to me. So he got to me, he got back to me, and we start to talk, and we start to develop a relationship. This guy's a consummate professional, great at what he does. Come to find out we have some mutual friends, and um, he's just amazing. And, and, I, and I can say this, you know, if it wasn't for his expertise, his help, okay, mentorship, I wouldn't have Real Talk with Rob Blue Gary. Now, there are other contributing factors, but he was a major, major part of it. And so I'm elated and excited to have my good friend Mario Ficini on the line today. And so, Mario, how you doing? I can hear you. You just have to talk a little bit louder, but I can hear you loud and clear. All right. Well, I'm happy to hear that. Is this any better? That's better. All right. So I welcome everyone. I am excited to share on Rabu's show because I remember right before the launch, he was reaching. He was doing a whole lot of stuff behind the scenes. And if you've ever done a show in your life, there's a lot to do behind the scenes. Pretty much every time you go live, there's something you need to be working on. And he was talking about this group, and I had looked, it was around Christmas, New Year's, and no one replied back for like a week. And I was like, why isn't anyone replying back? It's an easy fix. We can take care of it right now. And I'm so glad that I did reach out to him, and we got the ball moving and everything, because, you know, Rabu's a great guy. He always offers value. He has had great guests on the show, and I've been watching since we launched it. When was that? February 1st, right? The day I launched my show. Yep. But no, you were just after. You were Monday, right? So it would have been two, three, the fourth. It was in the same week. Yeah, in, in everything. But ever since then, I've watched him grow and everything. And when he reached out to say, hey, do you want to be on the show? Well, of course, because he's awesome. And I'm excited to share with you how you can turn your expertise into confidence. Well, thank you, Mario. And and ladies and gentlemen, and, and again, Mario, is, again, if it wasn't for him, you know, the show wouldn't be what it is today because trust me, it's a lot behind the scenes. You guys see all these computers and everything here. It's crazy. Now, another gentleman I get an opportunity to introduce. Now, we've been friends now for, whew, I would say since 2003, 2002, somewhere in there. Um, just an amazing, amazing gentleman. You know, it's great. It's great that uh, not only have we been friends, we've been able to help each other big time in our prospective industries, you know, learn from one another. You know, this gentleman is a mentor to many, and I mean thousands of folks. Um, I like to call him the mayor of Philadelphia, okay? That's my little secret name for him because I'm wishing one day that he would I think the gentleman would probably be president of the United States, but I like to say the mayor of Philadelphia. But uh, but no, he's just an amazing gentleman. Um, 
to know him is to love him, you know, and it's great to have him as a friend. And I'd like to introduce to those who don't know this gentleman, Mr. Suleiman Rahman. Su, how you doing out there? I'm doing well, Rabu. Uh, I know I'm not the, uh, the professional with the video here. I got my makeshift, kind of got my phone here, got the makeshift lights here on the side, but I hope everyone can see me and hear me fine. But uh, it's a pleasure to be on the show. Uh, as you said, we've been you know friends for, what, 15 plus years and uh, just watching all the great things that you do. Uh, I appreciate you continue to uh, just you know, keep up on all the things I'm doing as well. Uh, we don't get a chance to connect as much as we need to, but uh, glad to be on the show here and uh, sharing uh, whatever you know, whatever we like to share tonight. Got a you know a topic that um, many people may not think about. You know, we, uh, you and I, Rabu, have been networkers and networking and connecting people for many years, and over the last uh, it's now been about two years working on the project to um, to really help people not only give back in a meaningful way. Uh, but also find ways to uh, to do well by connecting and, and, and making things happen as well. So we'll get into that tonight. Well, cool, cool, cool. Well, we're going to go ahead and jump into the show. And again, I appreciate everyone for being on the show tonight. Ladies and gentlemen, it's kind of disciplined because I'm looking at you just like they're looking at you, but they're over there. You know, <laughs> this technology thing is kind of crazy. So every once in a while, if you see me do this, it's just uh, – I'm used to looking at people when they're talking, but I get a chance to listen to them. And so the first person we heard from was, again, my good friend, Lisa G. And Lisa was going into talking about something, you know, and again, married for 33 years, you know, and her husband is cool. That's like my brother from another mother. OK, OK, I'm just like, you know, he and I, we've been roommates at times, uh, hanging out together. He's just he's a nut. but He's a good nut. And I can't wait to have him on the show, too. But uh, but Lisa, you know, I love your, your guys story and how you met. You know, and how? And who would have thought that right now you would be president, CEOs, and and doing amazing things? And well, you probably would have thought, but the what you guys are doing now, and how you're helping folks, you know, in this health and wellness industry. And both of y'all talk about you have 26 year old kids. Please look like you have 15 year old kids, you know, because you do well and you take care of yourselves. But um, you know, talk to us a little bit about you know your topic today. We'll come back to it too. So give us a couple of minutes about what you want to share with the group today. Yeah, I mean, I started to talk about it. You know, I, I just, I'm looking back on just our journey in business. It's always been surrounding health. You know, right out of high school, I mean, I, I didn't go to college. Either did my husband. We both started working out in a gym, working in a gym, and that's where we met. And, you know, you look at what people used to do back then for exercise and then how it's evolved today. Everything evolves. Technology, wellness, life evolves. And, you know, when I got involved in our first company, you know, passionate about the products. And then now today, having an opportunity to be owners in a company that really, I believe, is on the cutting edge of technology and custom nutrition. Because you look back... It, it's not a one size fits all anymore. And mm -hmm. so our, our vision, you know, our motivation is really about changing lives. You know, the first 30 years, you learn a lot, a lot of great mentors, a lot of great experiences. But moving into this phase of our life, it's um, it can't be manufactured. It's got to be real. It's got to feel right. Um, everything that we do is, is really about quality. So, um, yeah, we just we really have a focus on building communities, building communities and um, having a regenerative lifestyle around custom nutrition. And the science behind our product line is really about epigenetics, which is, you know, um, how your genes express themselves. And I, I know that's a big word, but it's yeah. going to be the future. Custom nutrition, DNA, I mean, that's out there. Everybody, everybody's hearing about it and learning about it. So, um, yeah, I'm excited. That, that was kind of my topic. And then also just being, this is going to be our, our 33 years of marriage this month. And uh, working together alongside of each other in this industry has been very exciting. And now moving into ownership of our new company has, has been a new chapter in our life. So Jeff says hi. He's all on the East Coast where you guys are. So I know. Hopefully I'll bump into him on Saturday night. You know, get to learn a little bit more about what you're doing and, and hang out and maybe have a shot of tequila with my good friend Jeff. But, you know, it's something that you said and and you don't find this that often, whether it's from entrepreneurs or even people in the workplace where, and it's not a good or bad thing, it's just not that often, where husband and wives, you know, can work together to build empires. And I know both of you, your strengths are totally different. And that's a good thing. 
while you two are, you know, enmeshed in like great, you know, great, to, great together, but your strengths are different. What, what are some of the challenges, you know, if there were, or some of the pluses with being able to work with your spouse as owners of a company or along the way, actually, when you weren't owners, you know, getting your foot wet and, and building what you're building, building this empire, building this family, you know, what were some of the challenges along the way as it pertains to being an entrepreneur? Well, I think our biggest challenge is we're both very type A personalities. And so we had to learn to um, kind of like sit back and let, let the other person, you know, take control. For me, that was a hard thing, giving up control, mm -hmm. getting in your lane, um, you know, figuring out what your roles are. And, you know, I, that's been for us, our secret, because it, you do, you do have to do what your strengths are. And you got to, I, I mean, as a couple, that's kind of been our success is live in your strengths, do what do you do what you do best. And then if the other person tends to, you know, move ahead a little bit in that area, I'm, I'm the first one that says, go for it. <laughs> or he'll do the other, you know, so we have different strengths. I'm like more of the you know, I do a lot of admin. I see the bigger picture. I kind of look down the road. Um, Jeff loves to be in front of a room. You know, that's, that's you know, that's Jeff. That's why he's out on the East Coast right now. But just, just live it in your roles, I think, um, is a big, big thing that we had to learn. Wonderful, wonderful. Now, now, Mara and Suleiman, you know, I know you guys, you guys are sharp. You guys are smart. And I believe we all know that in business and whatever we do, it may not be exact partners, but I know there's someone, you know, that you work with or that you lean on or you have a brain trust with. You know, Mary, I'll go to you with that. You know, while you have your talk show and I've watched you do so many things, I'm watching from afar, you know, where, where, how is it working with a brain trust, you know, and, and what, what are the benefits of having someone that you can bounce things off of or work with? Okay. I would say something, find someone who's done it and listen to them. So when I started my show and I was launching my podcast, my background's in video production, so doing something like this didn't really phase me. It's, for me, I've done it so much, it's pretty simple. But the podcast that I launched, Expert Authority Effect Interviews, I had no, I'd never done it in my life. Now, I'd had help, my company had helped dozens of people with their shows and the marketing and the promotion of it, even some of the editing. Well, I had never done it, so I reached out to people, and I got coaches and mentors to help me with the podcast. So, Rabu, when you had reached out to me, props to you for going, hey, how do I do the video aspect of this? Because we all know what we're good at, and I tell everyone, stay in your expert authority zone. Whatever you're good at, build on your strength. A lot of people, you know, they're horrible at gardening or laundry or, you know, boring stuff like people go look at their weaknesses and go, how do I get better at this? When maybe you're already a nine over here and you should go to 12 or 13 and be the absolute best in that area, forget about the rest. You don't need to be good at everything, just knock it out of the park with what you're great at. Or what you're good at, become great at it. So as far as coaches and mentors, I've been hiring coaches and mentors for everything I've done pretty much, geez, it's hard to say this now, like to think I'm still young, but for the last 12 to 15 years, and made all the difference in the world because, yeah, you can figure it out on your own, but you can't ever get your time back. You want to spend 12 months trying to figure it out, or, oh, you know, I'll just watch some YouTube videos, this, that, the other thing. Those are great, but when you have an accountability partner and you say, hey, we need to get this done by here, or, you know what, I have this really, you could have one setting in the software as we've all seen, you could have one little setting that got updated yesterday, literally yesterday, that you'll look through the 498 others, and it could be something as simple as, hey, go tweak this, and maybe there's no YouTube videos made on it yet. You know, there's this time delay. There's a lot of good information out there. All the answers are out there, but the question is, are you going to take the time, if you need a week to figure out everything, and there's 78 steps, do you really want to take two years when you so it's one of the reasons I love helping my clients transform their business and get their stuff done because my master has to do everything. So, 
oh, we're going to drag this out for a year or not, because when you're in the right mindset, you don't need a ton of time and you only need a ton of results. So if you've never thought about coaching, mentoring, or a mastermind, absolutely get in one and do it. Find a coach. Watch what you can do even now until the end of the next fiscal quarter. I'm not going to say when it is, but if you think, oh, I'll do this the second half of the year, you don't need to wait. I can promise you that. If you go crazy, prove me wrong. I can show you how to do it in eight weeks. All right, good. Good answer there. And Suleiman, you know, I've watched you bring people together, you know, and so and you, you mastered it been a master at it and getting collaborations working together and getting things done but how important is it you know to have that you know that ace that person on your side you know to work with you when 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 putting these projects and things together absolutely i mean I, i've been uh, now an entrepreneur for um for, t- for 20 years and uh, you know obviously full-time entrepreneur i've made many pivots uh throughout my career and obviously in this new you know ever-changing economy ever-changing um, you know, technology, you constantly have to learn new things. And as Mario talked about, you could, you know, spend all your time time trying to figure things out yourself. But uh, it really comes down to number one is having a network around you. As you mentioned, a brain trust um, that you can lean on, uh, not only to help to accelerate your, um, you know, accelerate your, your, your learning curve, um, also to, um, to be able to make introductions. So it's one thing to have kind of advisors, mentors it's another thing to have someone called a sponsor you know a sponsor is someone who can walk you into doors they can make phone calls and get things done for you um so having that proximity to power and relationships you know cultivating those relationships where people uh know like and trust you uh over a period of time you know there's things i'm able to do now and accelerate those things by making a quick phone call and then you talked about you know having that person um that's by you that's working with you uh, it's important to, you know, some people uh, are able to continue to, you know, to, to, to build good relationships where uh, we talked about, you know, in the past for Prabhu, where I think it was uh, John C. Maxwell said some people, they have relationships and the longer the relationship they have, the worse it gets. Uh, uh, and, and others are able to continue to cultivate and have, you know, people by their side continue to support them long term. And so it's good to have those people around you that can support you, that can, uh, that you can get things done through them, people that you can trust, uh, and that's what leadership is, getting things done through other people as well. So, uh, you know, it's one thing to, to perform and have the technical know-how. Uh, that's only 10% of the equation. The other 80 90% is really your relationships and how you're able to move and get things done uh, with other people as well. So uh, many people focus on the wrong thing. Uh, so it's so important to build those soft skills that allow you to attract and to develop others as well. Uh, I've always been in the people business, you know, throughout my, my career. And now with a human capital solution firm, I've been able to bring all those things together into uh, to a business and, and, and do well and do good at the same time. Good. This, this is good. And I know there are folks at home watching. And, you know, I had someone ask me the other day. They said, hey, you know, your talk show is great, but, you know, it's no tea or no gossip or no, you know, no stuff like those other shows. I was like, yeah, they have a whole bunch of those. <laughs> we don't have that many of these where a person could come and listen to what Lisa just said, listen to what Mario just said, listen to what Suleiman just said, and go do something with it. You know, and we can be entertaining too. So we're going to go to commercial, ladies and gentlemen, and we'll be back and then we'll dive into another question. And as you saw, we'll all round table around that question and you'll get some value tonight. And this will be things that many of you can go share and implement right away. So we'll go to commercial and we'll be right back with Real Talk with Rabu Gary. Last Mother's Day, I didn't get a call from Serena till 9 p.m. 9 p.m.? Just because she's the GOAT doesn't mean she can't take the time for her mother. That's true. Right. That boy Snoop Dogg. Mm, he's so busy. He can't even call his mama. If Dwayne doesn't call me soon, I'm gonna lay the smack down on him. <laughs> <laughs> OBJ still has an M-O-M. Absolutely. How can you forget your mama? <laughs> <laughs> hey, Portal, answer. Happy Mother's Day! It's so good to see you. Oh, hi, Mom. Sir. Are you just hanging out with the moms of other famous people? What's up, Neil? Hi, Venus and Serena's mom. Jonah Hill's mom, Snoop Dogg's mom, Odell's mom. This is weird. 
Can you give Papa and Mama a minute, please? I love you, Nana. I love you. Am I in trouble? Because it kind of feels like I'm in trouble. Oh, honey, there's nothing wrong. Although he does look thin. Does look thin. Thank you. Come on over here and let us look at you. Honey, have you been getting enough sleep? You look so pale. Something is off. Okay, ladies, I'm fine. We just called to say Happy Mother's Day. I think it's the hair. It's definitely the hair. What, what did you... What's wrong with my hair? Fed up with the rising costs of cable and satellite? Cut the cord and start watching the channels you want at a fraction of the cost. With IXQ TV, stream thousands of entertainment, sports, news, and movie networks, plus local channels on your TV or mobile device. For as low as $39 a month, enjoy all the benefits of cable and satellite with no credit checks, contracts, or installation fees. Say goodbye to high cable bills forever. Visit StreamingSaves.com today. First impressions can be the difference between gaining loyal customers or losing them forever to your competition. At PrintFrenzy.com, we provide endless possibilities to make great first and lasting impressions. From business cards and banners to design services and website development, Print Frenzy has the high-quality products you need at the lowest prices you'll find. Re-energize your business with a fresh, professional look. Or print your current designs with us and save. Visit PrintFrenzy.com today. All right, ladies and gentlemen, we're back. We're back with Real Talk with Rob Blue Gary, and we have our special guest on. And you know, they were talking behind the scenes in the green room while you all were, you know, helping me pay the sponsors. No, but uh, but here's the deal. You know, we have some great topics, and before we get into really going into deep about what people do, so we can find out how we connect with them. Suleiman, I'm going to go to your topic. Uh, you know, you shared a topic with the group earlier today, and I'm, it's just a great topic. I'm sure we'll all have a little bit to expound on it. But if you could give us, you know, go into a little bit of detail about your topic, um, because I think that everyone will be intrigued by what you have to share. Sure. Well, uh, you know, tonight, you know, as I mentioned, Rob, I talked about, um, you know, something, a networking hack, if you will, a way that you can really start to build your network and also a way to, to give back in your local community as well. Uh, as I mentioned, I've been an entrepreneur for, for many years, and one thing that's been able to stick with me is the fact that I've, I've been, as Lisa mentioned, a community builder. Um, so I started early, I see right out of college, well, in college, I was using refund checks to uh, to buy real estate uh, in Philadelphia, and, and later, um, the internet was kind of, you know, I'm trying to date myself, but email was a disruptive technology uh, back in 2000. And I started an email list. I started to build a database of emails. And um, I was offering basically just basically offering people information about what's going on uh, in Philadelphia um, to engage in the city. Um, and that list grew to over 30,000 subscribers later and had a web platform, uh, media advertising. Uh, I didn't have green rooms like, uh, like Rob Boo, but uh, we, uh, you know, we, we had a media platform and, and people would, uh, uh, over 3,000 event marketers would use our website for, for promoting events, um, use, you know, many of my network and expanded network to, uh, to build different businesses over the years. Um, in 2007, I started a professional network, uh, with the mission to engage, empower, and connect the next generation of business and civic leadership. And that actually gave me a platform and, uh, uh, being known locally as someone who can be 
machine people who, uh, for business purposes, for social, for, for political purposes, and that gained me a seat at the table uh, mm. on boards, on the board of directors, started with a young, involved uh, organization, and then, uh, then the Chamber of Commerce, the African American Chamber of Commerce. I later became the chair, of the chair of the board for that chamber, and I've sat now on 10 different boards that sit on, on the Kemmel Center, you know, large in, wow. uh, in, here in Philadelphia, uh, as well as, uh, you know, community college in Philadelphia. And so these are, you know, large institutions uh, in Philadelphia. And what I noticed being a part of these organizations and sitting on boards, I started to sit around the table with CEOs and executives and uh, I had a chance to not only give back in a meaningful way, that was the reason why I initially agreed to sit on the board, to volunteer, to, to be in a very leveraged position, to make an impact, uh, especially when I didn't have time as an entrepreneur, but I could offer my strategic insight and, uh, and, 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 and in essence, help an organization that's making an impact in the community. And uh, But then I started to realize I'm sitting around the table with CEOs of banks and uh, of major companies and over the years, I've built this phenomenal network of professionals. I now sit on, I've sat on 10 boards, uh, but I sit on four currently, the number of advisory boards. And just the people who sit around that those tables, uh, again, are some of the top civic and business leaders in my city. Uh, so I literally have over 100 people that I see at least four times a year that I have a loose networking connection with. And any of them, I could, you know, just send them an email or text them and say, hey, can we catch up for coffee? And you literally can touch anyone uh, you know, in the city with, with the network of people that you're sitting around the table with. And over the years, um, just by vicariously or, you know, or, 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 or sitting on these boards and knowing what's going on throughout the city, through the relationships that you build, uh, it's been enough to really help me to make a lot of different impactful moves. And now I'm in a position uh, now where I've started a, a, uh, uh, with our professional network Two years ago, we started a, a program around leadership development through board service because I saw what it meant for me to uh, to be able to see organizations. You know, between the four organizations that I sit on, their their budget is over four hundred million dollars um, to oversee. You know, people say nonprofit organizations. Uh, they're not nonprofits; they're really for-profit organizations. You just don't dis- distribute the profit. Right. In these, so you're literally they're, they're really businesses. So I had a chance to see how business runs as well and to bring those things back into the things that I'm doing as well. Um, but my point is, you know, those relationships have allowed me to also uh, to make, you know, a lot of major moves, uh, you know, locally and then nationally as well. So I encourage, encourage people, and I'm about to get to it, we started a program two years ago in partnership with University of Pennsylvania, again, through some of the relationships, started a, a training program, a leadership development program that now places people on nonprofit boards throughout the region. So we have mid to senior level professionals um, that are now being placed on institutional boards, smaller boards, over 150 board partners that we work with. Um, and I just really tell people the value of not one, the emotional and spiritual value of being able to give back in a meaningful way. To sit on the board for an organization where the CEO or executive director reports to the board. So, you, you know, that's that's a, a leveraged position to be able to make an impact uh, where some of these organizations have hundreds of employees uh, and they're focused on making an impact in the community. So it's one thing to volunteer, which I encourage people to do, uh, but then get to a point where you have an opportunity to, uh, to also give back through board service and the intangible or, or, or other benefits to that personally are a professional network as well as leadership development and, and really professional development. Uh, through that as well, so um, so that's kind of uh, the topic. You know, we can get more into that, but I, I don't want to steal the show here. Uh, but that's generally, uh, you know, what I wanted to share with, with everyone on, on the uh, on the video here. And, and see, and that and that's good. You know, what's interesting. It, not even to simplify what you're saying, but you know, we've always heard people say sometimes it's not what you know, it's who you know. And I remember one of my mentors telling me, he said, you know, if you want to really get in good places, go volunteer, you know, for boards, you know, and things of that nature. And, and obviously you've been able to do it and help bring people together. And that's amazing, you know, and I'm sure. I want to add something, I want to, add something to, to that too, Rob. And I always say this, it's not 
what you know. It's not who you know. It's who knows they, you ah. and what they know about you as well. <laughs> because you can have people know you and they don't like you. Uh, ah. or, you know, what your brand is. Or it might be just that you're just about, you know, and, and people, uh, when you're just about making money or just about potentially selfish things and, and uh, you know, what perceives to be selfish, uh, it's important to also to balance yourself out around the idea of, you know, giving back in meaningful ways. So when you think about your personal brand as well, um, how are you not only just making money, at, but how are you giving back in meaningful ways? And uh, and I know you know most of the people that are on on this uh, on this on this video, they're doing what they're doing because a lot of it is they have a servant heart and want to help other people. They can make money a lot of different ways, but being able to make money through people or educating people or giving back through meaningful ways is what it's all about. So making sure that you put some heart into what you're doing as well and um, you know and, and, and resources come your way that that's 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 phenomenal and, and you're right you're you're exactly right I love it and so so we'll roll on Elisa then we'll roll up to Mario and and I like the way you know that transition because I know Lisa's a big giver you know her and Jeff are big givers and and I've worked with people in their organizations and things of that nature so Lisa you know Duck tailing off of that, because I think Suleiman really made that important, you know, what are you giving back? How do people perceive you? What are your thoughts on that? You know, it's um, ironic because, of course, personal development and reading and having a listening library, personal development has been our cornerstone of, and anybody's cornerstone of success. And the book I'm reading right now, and you'll love this, Suleiman, and it's, it's, I can't put it down, invisible, the invisible imprint, what others feel when they're in your presence. Awesome. And this, when you were talking, I said, man, he's nailing that. Understanding the forces of good and evil. Every day we come up against it, you guys. We have, as influencers, the power to change lives. And as an influencer, as a networker, as anybody with presence is what they're talking about, we're having good and evil. We're, we're coming up against that every single day, whether it's through the media, whether it's through people you're meeting, whether it, it, and you have decisions to make every single day. And what I've learned over the years, and I think it's becoming more evident now than ever, is every single decision has a consequence. And it's really important to make sure that if you're a leader and you're influencing people, it's not about you anymore right it's about what you're doing has the ability to bring people down either a good path or a bad path it's it's about making decisions for others what's best for the whole not you as a leader it's always about the organization so um yeah i when you were talking i'm like oh my gosh i love this man i mean it's just it's so important and it's important to give back i mean it's not it's giving back and doing things that fill your cup up, whether it's volunteering, it's getting out there, it's, um, you know, whatever you can do to be, um, to just, to, to be a better person and give, it's so important, and, and to make those connections. You know, moving to Vegas, getting out there in these different networking events. In Orange County, I was the networking queen, relocating, this is where you got to really kind of roll up your sleeves because you got to go out there and create new networks and new circles in new communities. And that's been really fun. It's been really fun. Wow. This is good. This is good. So, Mario, you know, again, Doug telling off of that, and it can be, I know it can be said many ways, but it can't be said enough. You know, what are your thoughts, you know, as you bring, bringing people together, giving back, uh, you know, being that person of value in some instances where you don't even have to for what it can mean. I agree with what you're saying and what uh, Lisa's saying 100%. And I loved it when Superman was saying it because there's so many people. One of the criteria for when I invite people on my show, I want to know do they have that service heart? Because there's so many people that know what they're talking about, the field, they're quote unquote successful. But at the end of the day, do they actually care about the people they're helping? Because you can have a multi-million dollar company and not really care. 
I was watching something the other night. I'm not going to say the company that supposed to produce their products, but it was one of the two largest tech companies. The CEO of one is one of the largest philanthropists in the world, and the other one never gave anything back. And mm -hmm. there's a whole other thing I could get into, it, but I look for people that are heart-centric, that have the fruit on the tree, that are successful, but if you don't have a giving heart, if you don't have uh, a lifestyle of contribution, whether it's just a smile or a friendly word, or maybe you donate to dollars a year, whatever the case is, it's part of who you are, and it's more of your behavior and your lifestyle than doing it any one time or, okay, let's donate this for tax purposes. Here's, here's the difference with people who realize that. I know I do. When someone's doing something to look good, or they're doing it for the right reasons, you know what? I'll give them credit for both because not everyone's even willing to. They're that arrogant and stubborn that they won't even do it even when they should. But there's other people who never talk about it and do it consistently. And that's the thing. I mean, the great thing about the internet nowadays is you can start a podcast, you can start a talk show, you can do live streaming, you can publish a book, you can do all these different things. But at the end of the day, you cannot hide People see it even if you have your own blinders on. Again, that's where the coaching and the mentorship is. We all have our own blind spots. But so many people nowadays think, well, I'll just do this, no one will pay attention. You cannot hide no matter if you try to or not. Mm. This, this is good. This is good. I know we're getting some value at home tonight. This is very, very good. And so, ladies and gentlemen, we're going to cut away the commercial. Then we're going to come back. We'll hit a couple more topics. Then we're going to give away some trips. Okay, we know every week I give away a five day, four night, all expense paid trips. And all you had to do to qualify for it is just to go subscribe to YouTube and make a comment. And so we come back when we go to commercial. We'll get give some trips, and then we're going to find out you know, a little bit more about our guest speakers and how you can reach out to them. I know if I'm watching right now, I want to know. Hey, how do I get on? Something? How how can I connect with you, Suleiman? Lisa. You know, you've been doing something for 20 plus years and, you know, especially in the health and wellness field and you look, you know, what you talk about, what can I do to benefit from that? Mario, hey, you know, I, I'm, I'm into, I want to start a talk show one day. You know, what could I do to get a great podcast off the ground instead of, like you said, watching 15,000 YouTube videos and trying to do it on my own? Ladies and gentlemen, this has been a good show and this will be a productive show that I know People will learn, get some benefits from in the very near future. So we'll go to commercial, we'll come right back, we'll give away some trips, and we'll hear more from our guest speakers. Last Mother's Day, I didn't get a call from Serena till 9 p.m. 9 p.m.? Just because she's the GOAT doesn't mean she can't take the time for her mother. That's true. Right. That boy Snoop Dogg. Mm, he's so busy. He can't even call his mama. If Dwayne doesn't call me soon, I'm gonna lay the smack down on him. <laughs> <laughs> OBJ still has a M-O-M. -M. Absolutely. How can you forget your mama? <laughs> <laughs> hey, Portal, answer. Happy Mother's Day! It's so good to see you. Oh, hi, Mom, sir. Are you just hanging out with the moms of other famous people? What's up, Neil? Hi, Venus and Serena's mom. Jonah Hill's mom, Snoop Dogg's mom, Odell's mom. This is weird. Can you give Papa and Mama a minute, please? I love you, Mama. I love you. Am I in trouble? Because it kind of feels like I'm in trouble. Oh, honey, there's nothing wrong. Although he does look thin. Does look thin. Thank you. Come on over here and let us look at you. Honey, have you been getting enough sleep? You look so pale. Something is off. OK, ladies, I'm fine. We just called to say Happy Mother's Day. I think it's the hair. It's definitely the hair. What did you with my hair? Fed up with the rising costs of cable and satellite? Cut the cord and start watching the channels you want at a fraction of the cost. With IXQ TV, stream thousands of entertainment, sports, news, and movie networks, plus local channels on your TV or mobile device. For as low as $39 a month, enjoy all the benefits of cable and satellite with no credit checks, contracts, or installation fees. Say goodbye to high cable bills forever. Visit StreamingSaves.com today.
First impressions can be the difference between gaining loyal customers or losing them forever to your competition. At PrintFrenzy.com, we provide endless possibilities to make great first and lasting impressions. From business cards and banners to design services and website development, Print Frenzy has the high-quality products you need at the lowest prices you'll find. Re-energize your business with a fresh, professional look. Or print your current designs with us and save. Visit PrintFrenzy.com today. All right, ladies and gentlemen, we are back with our special guests. And before we hear from them, I want to do a quick giveaway. And guys, you guys are going to love this. And so every week, what we do on the show, um, all we ask our viewers to do is to look at the previous episode. You know, check out the previous episode on YouTube or on our Facebook page and give a comment on our YouTube page. And when they do so, their name goes in a drawing. And every week, we give away a five day, four night, all expense trip to the Caribbean, you know, which is pretty cool for two people. And so it's our way of, you know, giving back. People need a vacation. That's the bottom line, okay? And we, and we love to send people away just to get a break. And so what I'm going to do, um, you guys, if you're on YouTube, you guys can watch this. But I just have to turn this to screen here. And everybody at home, they're going to see who's getting picked, which is pretty cool. So I'm going to go ahead and pull up the Internet. Now, you guys will have to be online watching this if you are at home. But then I'm going to go ahead and go to YouTube. Let me stretch this out so folks at home can see this. Well, I mean, our guest speakers, if our guest speakers want to see it, they would have to go online and look on their phone real quick. Okay, so we'll pull up YouTube and we'll go to Real Talk with Rabu Gary. Mm. Uh, there's a whole bunch of Real Talks on there today. Okay, there we go. Bingo. We're going to pull up the 14th episode. Here it is, right here. Click on it. You might hear some sound for a moment. Okay, good, it's muted. We're gonna hit share. We're gonna grab this link real here, right here. Now we're gonna go into our random counter, which is very, very cool. So as you can see here, it's already set for YouTube. So we're gonna paste the URL in here. Bingo, okay. Get the YouTube comments, just did that. And we're gonna hit start. Let's see who's gonna win tonight. And the winner is now their name is not here, guys, but whoever's watching at home is C A N is not your name, but it's your handle on YouTube. But it's C A N D N 40. So it's canned N 40. Canned N 40. You are a recipient of a five day, four night, all expense paid trip to the Caribbean. Get back to me ASAP before I give it away to somebody else. No, but congratulations. We're excited for you, and thank you for being a friend of the show. All right, we'll close this back out and bring back our guest speakers. And so, th this is pretty cool, guys. When you guys watch this on replay, you'll see Can Do pop up here. And if it's something that you guys you guys need, I always say it to all my guest speakers. It's something I can show you to use. It's phenomenal because it always can help with you doing anything random or any type of drawings or anything like that. So, so we're back now, and um, we talked about, you know, Bridging together. We talked about giving back, which I think is a phenomenal subject. And I think I mentioned, you know, we were going to come back. We we're going to hear, you know, from Lisa. And again, I believe I said Lisa, right? Did I say that? Oh, oh sorry. You guys are unmuted. Sure. Um, we'll, we'll go to Lisa, then we'll close out with Mario. And so, Lisa, and, and, and how can someone find you? You know, you're, you're the example of what you've been doing for 30 plus years. How can we find you? How, they can, how can they connect with you? If someone wants to be mentored by you, if someone wants to learn about your products and services, what's the best way to find you and why should they? Well, obviously Facebook. I still have my maiden name on there. It's a mouthful, Lisa Ferroni Giamalva. <laughs> and the same name is on, of course, LinkedIn. But our company is Regenerate.me, R-E-G-E-N-R-8. Dot me. It's a regenerative lifestyle company, all based on epigenetics and custom nutrition. And um, I'm not sure if I 
to give my phone number or not. But yeah, anybody who we're right now in a big growth mode and we really are looking for leaders all around the country. We're looking for people um, in the Hispanic market right now. Um, of course, um, right now we're in a really big growth spurt. We're, we're opening up a whole physician program. We're calling it our professional program because a lot of uh, physicians want to incorporate our program into their practice because this is custom nutrition. And, um, you know, once you send in your hair test, you're getting a 24 page report and you're getting custom nutrition that's all organic shipped to you. So this is the real deal and people are having phenomenal, phenomenal results. And, uh, yeah, reach out. We'd love to share with you more and, uh, send you some information. Wonderful. Now, Lisa, before, at the end of the show, once we're done, and ladies and gentlemen, on YouTube, Lisa will put her information, her link, contact information on YouTube, and it'll be on Real Talk with Rob Bulgari, and feel free to reach out to her. You know, again, she's helped a lot of people do extremely well, and she knows what she's doing. And so, Mario, so, 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 and again, I was glad I opened up the show this way. Ladies and gentlemen, you know, you see me, well, you guys don't see behind the scenes. You know, you see some of the stuff, but you don't see this mantra here. You don't see this hardwired thing there. You don't see these lights and all this stuff. It's just like crazy. And so I can't wait till you come over to see the studio, you know. But Mario is very instrumental with uh, helping me get this together. Mario, how can people reach out to you? Because I know you publish books. You help with podcasts. You help with shows. How can they reach out to you if someone is thinking about doing something similar? Say, say that again because you, you broke up initially. Yep. Yes. Okay, good. So, it's interesting when you go to commercial, but that's a whole other thing. If you've ever thought about doing your own talk show, I recommend it. If you're thinking about doing a podcast, do it. A book, do it. Because the thing I've taught people for years is how to turn your expertise into profits. So many people are doing stuff nowadays that they're just putting stuff out there randomly, but when you do it intentionally, these are assets you have for years. So the best way to learn more is eainterviews.com is the podcast, and that's the stuff up where everyone's focused around. But if you want to reach out to me personally, mariofacini.com forward slash schedule, I'd be happy to come on the call and you know, learn more about what you're looking to do because there hasn't been anyone that you know, we invest a half hour and they're like, holy smokes, this just saved me a month or two. Rabu, he's been generous with the compliments, but you know, whether we do business or not, you might be not, I might not think you are not, but either way, I know I can help, and there's so many intricate parts. The number one thing you should be doing is moving forward with it. Don't just, it takes the same amount of time to put on an awesome show like Red Book has here as it does to do five just random posts. You're going to do it either way. You're not going to stop, but are you intentional about it? If you're not profiting from your expertise, you definitely should be. Wow. All right, you just got much louder. We don't know how you did it. <laughs> But what, it's magic. That's okay. what I do. <laughs> and, and, and here's the thing, Mario. You have a show as well. Can you tell people when can they see your show? I'm happy to say I'm leave, live streaming all the time here on Facebook. And I actually have you. You're saying the guest on the show can watch. I've got three monitors up. I've been monitoring behind the scenes. I got your Facebook here, the YouTube here. So uh, check out my the. Uh, Facebook business page and also on iTunes, Expert Authority Effect Interviews. Wonderful, wonderful, wonderful. Now, Suleiman, you know, we definitely got to catch up. You know, I know there's some folks who are listening today and, and there are people listening all around, you know, the world actually and definitely here in this area. Um, if people need to reach out to you or connect with you or see what you got going on, how can they find you? Yeah, absolutely. And I look forward to uh, seeing your studio there, Rob. Uh, ne next year, we're open up a close to 10,000 square foot facility, like a co-working space. So uh, I'm going to dedicate a room to look just like Mario's there with the uh, green screen and all the good stuff back there. So uh, I need you to pay it forward. But um, you can catch me on LinkedIn. I'm an open network run LinkedIn. Um, same as my name is spelled. Hope you're going to see my name spelled on there. And, uh, you know, DM me on LinkedIn or, you know, definitely connect there and uh, definitely uh, connect. Wonderful, wonderful, wonderful. And so, you know, closing out, and we typically, especially we have great guests, we always have great guest speakers. Um, typically, I like to go a little bit over, you know, any closing comments from any of you 
And we can go in any order. That's my alarm saying, hey, producer said get off the show. Hey, guys, it's my show too. No, but uh, any, any, uh, any closing comments that you guys would like to share, and anybody could jump in because there are folks at home right now who are looking for multiple reasons. You know, again, looking to connect, looking to learn. You know, some folks just like the show and they like to share it. Um, and, and I'll say this, guys. I, I forgot I got to promote something also. Guys, hey, for those who are all looking at the show, make sure. And, and, and I've learned this from many of my friends and mentors. I have a lot of resources now. We'll be starting a charitable fund as well. It's interesting you guys talked about that. But go to Rabu's Friends. Rabu's Friends. I am frugal. I'm not cheap, but I'm frugal. And it's not how much money you make. It's how much you keep that counts in some instances. And at Rabu Friends, we have discounts on everything, okay? From, from printing to, to, to exotic car rentals. Just the other day, I rented two cars out, exotic car rentals for proms. You know, that's local here in the greater Philadelphia area. But if you're looking for resources, go to rabusfriends.com. But guys, um, anything, uh, ladies and, and gentlemen, anything you'd like to say before we close out? Don't everybody speak at once. Y'all be doing such a great job. Know what you're going after and go after it. Don't be distracted. Don't think you need to do 431 different things at once. You only have so much time. Get, be the best at one of them and knock it out of the park. Go an inch wide and a mile deep. Even if everyone else is doing something different, you don't need to copy them. Be the best you. I love it. I love it. Uh, Lisa, any, any closing remarks? I would say always be better than yesterday. Lead with your heart. Um, don't take yourself so seriously. Enjoy life. That's what's going to attract people. Have fun. Be happy. Be happy. It's a decision. I love it. I love it. Suman, any uh, any closing comments? Well, Mario said something. Uh, I just heard a great quote: "Is focus is the new talent." Yeah. <laughs> and and uh, you know, reality is with so many things, so many distractions going on. Um, some of us don't even know who we are, you know, mm. because we're trying to be so many other people and, you know, you're seeing social media. And so take some time, you know, really, really, you know, give, spend some time with yourself, understand what motivates you, because sometimes you can chase the wrong thing. You can chase something all your life and realize it really didn't matter. So at the end of the day, you know, make sure that you're focused on the things that's going to fill you. Uh, it's going to be more than just materialistic things and, and, and just the money. Now, no money, no mission. So get some, you know, make a lot of money. Uh, but at the same time, make sure that you don't let other things fall by the wayside along the way. Uh, and make sure that you stay focused. Because, again, you know, we lose a lot of time just drifting. And, you know, I caught myself drifting today, maybe an hour, just on social media. Um, so, again, just really taking back your mind and, and folks make things happen. And, uh, and, and, and making sure you're, you know, living, living from your heart. Wonderful. And it's interesting, Sue, you said that my wife and I, Sherry and I, we took my mother out for Mother's Day today. We did it on a Tuesday opposed to a, a Monday. And Sherry has this app on her phone for all you iPhone users. I don't know if they have it for Android. I'm an Android guy. But they have this app on this phone that can tell you how much social media you did all day long. And it can be staggering. You know, and so I know some folks, I, you know, I used to make this excuse. Hey, I got to be on social media because I got to be with the people, you know, and it was an excuse. And, you know, I'm up there enough now, but I'm not up there, you know, too much to keep from being focused. And so, you know, I'm giving a, a plug to the Apple users out there. It's this app. You know, as soon as I said, as Mario said, as Lisa said, be happy, be yourself, but always be focused. Get that app, ladies and gentlemen. They'll let you know how long you've been peddling around on social media. Not to say it's a bad thing. But, hey, we all know where our focus goes, where our attention goes, so does our focus, and so does our results. And so, ladies and gentlemen, it's been an honor, privilege, and pleasure to have you guys on tonight. I know a lot of folks got a lot of value. Listen, they're going to post their links. They're going to post their contact information. It'll be on Real Talk with Rob Gary on YouTube. It'll be in the comments. It'll be on Real Talk with Rob Gary on my Facebook page. It'll be in the comments. Reach out to them. You know, the, the, the greatest thing I believe that happens when we have folks on this show they give back. They didn't have to be the guest tonight. I'm glad that they're the guest tonight. But reach out to them. See how we can connect resources. And so, you know, what, 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 what the, great, the great Pat Riley said, either you're growing or you're dying. There's no in between. And I know we're all here to grow. Thank you guys for joining in tonight for another episode of Real Talk with Rabu Gary. We'll see you next week, 8 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. Bye for now.